Hey everyone and welcome back to Mad Investor. So today I wanted to do a review of the crypto uh, cards from Ledger because Ledger have recently um, announced and released their cards and I was lucky enough to actually be in UK and some based in London and they opened to the users in UK. So uh, after a bit of a wait and then ordering a card, I got it. And this is something which I wanted to show you and do actually an unboxing with you. So um, this is the, um, obviously just, just a letter which arrived. I literally opened it and I wanted to see how it looks like. And I see that they did like a nice, simple design of the box. It's really, you know, slim. It reminds me of Revolut, you know, Revolut used to do and they do such a kind of designs and I think that's, you know, pretty cool. And obviously you have something which I see most of the cards now has, the slide, right? So you see the slide of the cards. Oh yeah, it looks pretty slick. So honestly, that's the cards. And as you can see, it's nice color. It's dark one, it's like black. Um, and on the back side, you can see it's orange. So it's kind of, you know, uh, totally ledgers, um, uh, colors. And I, yeah, I think it's pretty great. When we look at, you know, what they actually wrote is like, please activate your card using the CVV. Obviously that's what I need to do. And, um, the company which issued the cards is Optimus Cards UK Limited, which is obviously authorized by FCA in UK. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Time to see the cards in action, right? So let's do this. Um, when it comes to, you know, um, a Ledger, like <laughs> I used uh, the Ledger Live app and uh, this is what we're gonna do uh, right now. So uh, I wanna show you how it actually does work. So when you go to the um, Ledger app, you'll go to cards and here you'll have an option to register if, you're, if your country is eligible or uh, log in. So when my card arrived, I can just press, is your physical already in hands? Activate it now. Great, I just need to, to put my CVV code and uh, activate it. So a few moments later, my card is activated, which just you just saw the notification. And from now on, I can, uh, you, you know, top it up, use the accounts and use the stable coins as well. So I'll do a bit of a review because I'm uh, actually curious about all the features. I read quite a lot about uh, Ledger card before it arrived. So I wanted to see what it exactly does and has few quite nice features and I wanted to also cover the fees which comes with that card. So when you go to accounts, uh, you can the Bitcoin and Ethereum when it comes to the um, when it comes to the balances you can press add funds and use those too. Um, when you go to stable coins you can see for example I have a GPP. When you press manage your accounts you can add more accounts. So for example instead of GPP you can use Euro, USDC and USDT. So these are the stable coins and within the crypto when you press manage account you can add the BXX which is the bank's uh, token. So there is not much of a choice here but like if you're using stable coins and you want to spend stable coins in a really easy matter it's pretty good. And if you want to add money, you just press add funds and you'll have the uh, details of the either bank transfer or uh, you can add it with the card. So you can actually top it up with your card. But let's be honest, like for most of you, you want to use it the other way around. So you actually have crypto and you want to use that crypto to add it. So what I'll do, I'll put um, stable coins, I'll press manage accounts, I'll add all of them. And for example, on USDT, I'll press add funds. And here, like I can choose uh, what amount, um, you know, I want to uh, put, so for example, no, 100 USDT and the network fee uh, standards. And then uh, when you say, it says continue with Ledger uh, hardware wallet. So there'll be a transfer from your Ledger. So you can actually transfer directly from your Ledger to that card and you know in an easy way uh, use it, use your funds uh, in the outside world or you can receive it from external address which uh, it's right here and you can copy it to Clipper. Um, from what I see on the address I think it's the ERC20 address doesn't look like a Tron address um, and I think they should definitely put the um, kind of information so uh, I think it's the best way it's always to take money from your ledger but obviously that will be kind of the main purpose for this card for you to use it. 
So let's talk about the fees because that's something which obviously like a lot of you are interested in and I was as well because obviously I compare it with the other cards like Binance or some of the others. And when I went to the uh, Crypto Life CL uh, card support because here you can actually find um, the majority of information about the coins and how does the... Um, and the card actually works. So you can see that um, the stable loans, you can actually get the stable loan. So they make borrowing kind of easier. You can um, use the calculator to see how much collateral you'll need to take a, a stable loan, which will be literally taking a loan based on your stable coins. You can use a Bitcoin or Ethereum as collaterals and they will expand the list uh, in the coming months. So that's cool that they said that Obviously, they're starting with something and then in the future, they will be expanding. Um, you can select USDC, USDT on Euro to receive stable loan in. So you can spend those funds on the debit card, withdraw to your ledger account or use another exchange to buy cryptocurrency. So that's pretty cool. But um, let's obviously look at the uh, fees. So the general fee for the uh, crypto cards, they charge a small liquidation spread up to 1.9% on each card. Uh, crypto transaction. So that means that every time when you, you know, pay, um, you know, it will, uh, it will put that 199, which is not as great as I would, um, you know, um, expect, but it's also not bad because like I can see some of the cards which are using it, like crypto.com or some of the others. And it's good to have an option to diversify. So obviously the crypto laws are changing and you want to have an option open. For fees and ATM withdrawals and more, mm, see the card terms and condition found within the manage card tab. So uh, this is something which, you know, it's uh, actually pretty easy to find because mm, when you go to uh, a card here, you can actually uh, see it inside. But coming back here as well, you also see that there is something called the Crypto Draft. Crypto dra Draft offers you an option to spend up to 35% of your collateral value as a credit spent on your card. So in a way, you know, you're getting like a draft like on your account based on the amount you're getting within your um you know uh crypto so that's something which you know i think it's pretty great we see it obviously on the dexes and DeFi's, um because these are the kind of options which you know comes with a majority of the decentralized finance lately and i i see that it's a nice feature for you know everyone to to look into the cards um i can see that you know they also have the user limitations so you can actually see terms and condition through the user restriction and you can learn a bit more there so to find the um, more about the fees uh, and also more about you know um, the terms and conditions in general, you can go to the um, sorry here to that um, wheel I would call it right it's it's like a tinkering wheel right <laughs> and then go to the terms and condition option. When you go here, it, it will open the PDF guide for me for as you can see cartoptimist.uk and I wanted to see what's the charge of the ATM. So I'll actually search for the ATM. Um, ATM awards and you will see which is uh, right here they also stating you can withdraw cash in any bank okay that's great but we want to see the fees on that ATMs um, security recurring um, the m big minus always with the terms and conditions are always the, um, you know, it's, it's really broad and you actually need to search for things so we got the fees and charges so fees and charges there is a flat fee of £2.50 for each cash withdrawal. This fee applies, applies to cash withdrawals at uh, an ATM domestically. For any cash withdrawals in a foreign outside of the UK, it's a flat fee of £3 plus 1.5% transaction value. So this is pretty similar to actually what Reef did. So we can see £2.5 for each cash withdrawal. And if you're doing that outside of UK, it will be £3 plus 1.5%. I wouldn't say it's cheap. But uh, I definitely think it's, you know, it's a good to have an option to do that as, you know, it gives you an access, easy access to your money from your ledger and you can easily move money around. So I think it's a pretty okay option and I definitely, you know, recommend everyone to have more options. And I think that's an important part because obviously you want to have as many uh, costs as possible and many uh, options to withdraw your money in case one of the cards goes blocked or something doesn't work or some bit of technicality, right? So uh, this is something which, you know, I do and I'm always making sure that my options are always open. By the way, if you're interested in Ledger, they always run some promotion. I always put some deals in the Mad Investor. So under, um, under this video in the description um, uh, section, 
description you can see the link to the ledger if you want to order it as uh, in general I believe that you know having a ledger and a cold wallet it's extremely important regardless what amount of money you're uh, holding because obviously with recently what's happening with MetaMask and the thefts it's it's just important to keep yourself safe uh, safe and also I left the link for you to order the card and where to find it this is it from me I wanted to give you a quick overview of the card which just arrived for me and well wish you a lovely day remember if you like this video just leave a like and subscribe so you're up to date with everything what's going on and see you in the next video take care